Hello and welcome back everyone. We are now on most likely the last and final chapter. Well, actually this is the last and final chapter of the game because we are on the bonus chapter. And if you haven't watched the last episode, I do suggest that you watch that first before you click on this because there's going to be a spoiler right off the bat once I play the bonus chapter. And yes, this is actually uh, something like a standard edition, which is pretty neat. And there's not a lot of games that do this for their uh, seemingly standard edition release. You do have the chapter bonus and of course the all of the cutscenes are here. Let's take a look at them. Granny and the Cat. Awakening of Lost Memory. And Evidence. And of course the ending. And the bonus chapter, which is named after Carl Wright. The detective. So here we are. We are about to play the bonus chapter. For Garston Lee. She went missing three days ago. After searching for her, I couldn't find her at her apartment. The fact is, she's nowhere to be seen. She left her daughter, Sarah, at the daycare center. Sarah. She looks like my daughter, who died a couple of years ago. I found Sarah, who evidently suffers from asthma. She had a serious asthma attack. Okay, here we are at the crime scene. Let's start the investigation. Okay, so the detective knows that Sarah is missing and of course feels very strongly that she is most likely dead seeing as our task list says we have to find her corpse and he's saying that we are at the crime scene. Hmm. Key. Wow. Does this look like a crime scene to you? It's just a bunch of trash. But then again, there are crime scenes that look like this. A bunch of trash everywhere. We're at the pub and we're about to go inside. Ding ding. And a sparkly scene. To begin with. Find eight related pairs. The game likes this sort of puzzle. So, I see a ball and a glove. Kettle and a cup. Uh, this one and the dancer. Is it? Yep. Bowling pin and bowling ball. Carrot and bunny. Of course. Whatever this is. And I'm guessing that's tongs. Mm. Fork and spoon. Matches and the black candle. We have found tongs. The tongs will be useful to grab hold of something that can't be reached easily by hand. And another sparkly scene. This time it's your standard sparkly scene, hidden object. Find stuff, black candle, so blade, corkscrew. A voodoo doll, fan, socks, wasn't there before, sun, rose, and a bulb. Here we are! We have a corkscrew. And 
that's for opening this bottle. Another key! What the? Hmm, what's this? I see. What do I see? Another key! Great! Let's go to the makeup room. This place is in such a mess. We have another key. That's weird. Someone must have left without wearing her shoes. Well, obviously that was Jenny. To the alley. A rock. Surely this can help me break into something. Another key. The stairs are always rusty because they have not been used for a long time. Outside of Bob. Nothing here. Let's go up. I don't have to break this. There's something inside. I'm gonna need something to help me with this. Thongs! It's ideal to tear and or cut something. Hmm. There seems to be something inside this, but seeing as I have no tools, I don't think you can get inside it. Well, we have a knife now. Come on. A door! There must be a room behind this door. Oh. Use all our keys. Not the right one. It's Jenny! The end. Wow, that guy, Brad, is really a bastard. What a bastard. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him get his just desserts. Hopefully, he does get it. But anyway, in my own little reality, since they already found Jenny, or rather, Jenny's dead body, we can now hopefully rest assured that somebody and another somebody, bunch of scumbags, will eventually get their you. So that's it. That is Silent Scream the Dancer. Kind of a short game. Uh, but it was a pretty interesting game. Uh, this was their first offering for the Hidden Object series by Maximize Games. They have another one after this, which is Silent Scream the Bride, which I played first on this channel so if you'd like to check that out i do recommend that you check that out is it actually a little bit better graphics wise than this one and the story is a little more twisted just a little caution that's uh, my first game so narration isn't quite up there but enjoy the game otherwise in the meantime guys i shall be off and you just go on and have some fun take care of yourselves and i will be back for another game so stay tuned